Well, this is something for the guys working on the pulse motors. Um, I discovered it, thought I'd share it. That uh, My little uh, light-powered pulse motor is quite fascinating, and uh, this is the self-start thing. And uh, I have a radio here so you can listen to it. That's all that's for. It's just turned to an AM null station. And I have a lamp here, and the lamp is supplying the energy. But I have this just far enough away from the light so it's not working. It's just sitting there. But I'm going to take a little flashlight here, and I'm going to add a little energy to this and show you how when you tip the scale just slightly, this thing starts working. And uh, anyway, I thought this was interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you. I'm going to turn the flashlight on here. There's a little flashlight. Add some energy. Listen to the pulse motor start up. Now when that gets to a certain RPM, now the rotor's triggering the whole circuit. Now I can take the flashlight away. And there's just enough energy coming in here that this keeps right on running. And uh, a lot of people are going to say, well, all you've done is you've put energy into an inertia wheel here. And as soon as the inertia comes out of that, the inertial energy, this will just stop. But I have this balanced so close with the energy source and the motor that once this gets going, it self-sustains. And I thought that was very interesting that uh, when you get these uh, pulse motors dialed in, um, they're incredibly efficient. And I just thought I would uh, share that with folks that uh, are working on these pulse motors. Anyway, that's my little demonstration for today. Thanks for watching.